This video explains 10 base tea for beginners. Ten Base T is an early Ethernet standard that enable computers to communicate in local area networks (LANs) using twisted pair cables. Here's a breakdown of its history, how it works, and its relevance today. In the past, Ethernet networks used coaxial cables. In 1984, StarLAN demonstrated the potential of an unshielded twisted pair. This paved the way for Ten Base T. Also. Later standards like 100 base TX, 1000 base T, and 10 base T enable faster speeds. 10 base T supports a maximum data transmission speed of 10 megabits per second. It uses twisted pair cables, similar to telephone wires, to transmit data. These cables connect to devices using RJ45 connectors. The maximum cable length in a 10 base T network is 100 meters. 10 base T networks typically use a star topology, connecting each device to a central hub or switch. The hub acts as a central point for all network traffic. Category 3, 4, or 5 unshielded twisted pair wiring is used. Patch panels organize wiring and create termination points for cables. Patch cables connect each port on the panel to the central hub. While 10 base T was revolutionary, modern Ethernet standards offer much faster speeds. 100 base TX supports 100 megabits per second. 1000 base T supports 1000 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, and 10 base T supports 10,000 megabits per second, 10 gigabits per second. 10 base T is not typically used for bandwidth intensive tasks like video conferencing or large file transfers. It may be sufficient for basic internet browsing, email, and document work. Faster Ethernet standards are preferred for home offices or businesses that require higher bandwidth. A newer variation called 10 base T1S utilizes only one pair of wires. It is designed for shorter distances with multiple connections. It is often used in the automotive industry and other environments with substantial electrical noise. 